Oh, this is gonna be fun. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. It has been a hot minute. I have not recorded in like a week. Everything that you guys have seen so far up to right now has been recorded like a week ago. But guess what? I recorded this yesterday and we about to get on it. So what are we doing? We are planting corn and I said I was saving money for something big. And this is it right here. A 36 meter direct drill corn planter. You heard that right. We're not telling today. We are going to go through and I'm going to do this by myself actually. This is going to be a very interesting... Uh, I'm not sure if I actually want to use this or not. Just got to be honest with you. I'm not sure if this exactly... Oh, that's not going to be fun. So it looks like going fast farming. Not a thing we could do with this. I don't know. Let's go real fast. What? Ta -da. Maybe? 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 Maybe a little bit better? Maybe it's got to be fast. I did it pretty slow. Been out of practice. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So with this being 36 meters... Uh, we're going to get this field done pretty darn fast. And this, just like the Great Plains, also has liquid fertilizer in it as well. Oh, man. Yep. Yeah. So there's some spots we're going to miss. And that's all. Man, what? Urgh! Let's let's figure out why this is cutting left all of a sudden. I think it was just the articulating tractor. We're probably going to swap this thing out as soon as we get back to the main farm. This is fun. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's a little bit... Yeah, this articulating tractor is a little bit much. So we're going to get that swapped out. We're going to come back and hit some of these spots that we're missing really, really bad. The game plan today is we're going to take this field and our other field. Oh, I hate driving this thing. Uh, we're going to take both of these fields, plant them with corn, get ready for a massive, massive corn harvest. And we are also going to figure out something with this tractor. Oh, it's doing well. It is not the tractor for this specific job. Let's, uh, there we go. Get this thing out. Let's swap this out for the T8. There we go, good. Let's drop this down, let's turn this one on, and let's see if this is any better. I know it's got plenty of horsepower to pull it, so I'm not too concerned about that. Plus, the worker will run this at, I believe it is, oh man, this is so much easier to control. So we're gonna get this done. This, I think, is gonna take us about four or five passes depending on how we do it. And then we've got our other field. But this is our first time going through our other field and planting in there. So it ought to be pretty fun. Now, this is where it's going to be kind of tricky because this is one big, massive new field that we have not done before. I've never run this route before. I will tell you that I did do something similar to this at 17, but I have not done this in 19. There we go. There's our first headland down here. See if we can spin this around. I will tell you, the T8 was the best, the very, very best uh, tractor for this job right here. If I was running with a helper, I honestly probably would have just kept the T9 on there and it would have worked just fine. However, doing what we're doing, going fast farming, doing that kind of thing, I tell you what, the T9 or the T8 can't, oh, don't hit it, darn. The T9, 8 cannot be beat. All kinds of names and numbers for everything. Still trying to get used to it all. Also, if you guys are on PC, the custom modding uh, 9R and 9RX are out. Do we miss a little bit? I think we did. Let's go and back this up. They are out, uh, so we may do something with that. I've been thinking about changing this back to a John Deere farm for a little while now. So we may do that. If that's something that you guys want to see, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, it's been a New Holland farm for, I'd say, maybe 10 episodes now. Something similar to that. I like New Holland. New Holland's just fine. I like John Deere. John Deere's just fine. If Massey Ferguson had a bunch of tractors on here, I'd probably do Massey next. But, hey, if we go back to John Deere, go back to John Deere. And that is totally cool with me. We get that? We've got it. Also, we've still got a game plan to run a massive deep... Did we miss some? Miss a little bit. Uh, to do a massive deforestation project for the map itself. Not getting every single tree, but getting a lot of them. If you guys are not sure what I'm talking about. So we hit this area right here. We've still got a tree outline, but we've got that area right there. I was thinking about doing the same thing here, 
might do a live stream or something like that. But this whole section right here, thinking about doing the same thing there that we did around the other side. I think that would be a whole lot of fun. So how's about this? Let's finish hitting our headland here. Probably going to hire a worker or something like that. Get this done here. Then we're going to go around and make sure everything else around the farm is good to go. Well, this field is done. Let's get it going. So we've got some stuff from the cows. The cows need, well, they got food, but they need water and they need some straw. So we're going to take care of that today. We're going to get them some water and we're going to get them some straw. Well, what else? What else do we need? What do our pigs need? Do the pigs need anything? No, not really. And we're almost to our max of 400, or 500 rather, of 500 pigs. We get an animal every 30 minutes in game. Absolutely crazy. They've got some good amounts of manure and slurry right now as well. Uh, the chickens are producing eggs as fast as they possibly can. Uh, cleanliness 100% as always. And food is wheat and barley. And then cows. These guys right here need water and straw bad. They've got plenty of TMR. They could probably take a little bit more. Maybe 200,000 liters of TMR. Right now they've got plenty. Now this is ours now. This planter is ours. I bought it. It is ours to keep. The big issue is where in the world are we going to put it? Because this thing is massive. You can't back it up into anywhere. So I think what I'm going to have to do is bring it over here because we're not going to use it again until whatever is in this field is harvested. So I think what we're going to have to do is put it just right there and keep it out of the way. That is the only thing that I know to do that's going to make this even worthwhile and, and work for us. So that is that. What is next? Next is water. So we've got some agua. Wait, man, oh man, why does it have to be so loud? You know what? I am going to mute just for now. I'm going to mute so you could actually hear what's going on or at least see what's going on without it being crazy. So right now we've got 150,000 liters of TMR and we've got about half a million liters of everything over here. So we've got quite, I see 150 million, 150,000, not 150 million liters. Goodness gracious. That would just be a little bit too much. Now over here, what do we have over here? Let's go ahead and stop real quick. Let's pull in. So we've got 3,104,000 liters of hay in there. So that's going to turn into silage and into digestate. All that is going to happen overnight. Let me go back into my recording software and hit play. So now you guys can hear what's going on. Also, if you're curious of what I use, how I record and all that good stuff, we'll be doing some fun stuff with that a little bit later on. But I can tell you that I use uh, Slobs or Streamlabs OBS. That is what I use to record video, and that is what I use to live stream as well. Um, I don't think it's any better than OBS itself or OBS Studio. However, I will say that I've had bad experience with frame droppage with um, OBS Studio. So, but that's just me. This is what I use here. A lot of people will stream with this, but they'll lie or they'll stream with uh, slobs, but they'll record with OBS. Hey, that's what I used to do as well. Heck, even for a little while, we would record and live stream with OBS Streamlabs. Goodness gracious, they're taking a whole bunch of water. Let's go down here and see. Are they good? Yeah, they're good now. Cool, there's water. Let's get them some straw. For the straw, I'm actually going to use what we used to pick it up with. This guy right here, the Shootamaker uh, Rapid Rapid 8400 Windrow. This mod right here, PC mod. And I'm going to use the New Holland T7. This is the perfect tractor for this trailer, especially for the job we're doing. And we need straw. Okay. Well, we've got straw in here. So let's check it out. Straw. Boom. Do we not have grass? We need some grass. Straw, 600,000 liters. Fine. The problem is this loads up super mega fast, just like that. So I didn't want to make sure we did too much. And if we use the other trailer, probably would have gotten too much in here. And it unloads real fast. A little bit too fast, if you ask me. And so, that's why I'm going to use this. It unloads super fast. Let's bring it around here. The big trailers do not unload very fast. I need to change that up. Should be getting the trigger there soon. There it is. And everything that they need is in there. Yo, we got close. 2,600 liters left in here out of 170,000. That ain't too bad. Let's go ahead and get these closed up. I thought I closed these. I just pulled straight out, didn't I? Yeah, that makes sense. 
So let's get this uh, put back into the silo. That is all good. And then I think we will be good to fast forward a little bit of time. So next up, I need to spray. But the problem is, well, I guess there is no problem. It's just first world problems at this point. We've got the mattress 4102. Okay, fine. The mattress is great. It's a really good sprayer. It's got a very, very wide uh, spread at 36 meters, but it's not self-propelled. And it's not even uh, New Holland. Well, what is? Well, we have the New Holland SP400F. Again, 31 miles per hour. Works at 7 miles per hour. And we're going to fix that. And it goes 36. Okay, well, it's 36 meter spread. All right. Well, that isn't going to cut it here, especially for the fact that it only holds 6,000 liters. Uh-uh. Those are rookie numbers. We need to bump those numbers up. So what we're going to do is we're going to mod this. I'm going to show you how. So here's what we've got. I have located the mod in our mod folder, and I have all of my custom mod stuff set up here. Of course, I've got backup saves for games, all kinds of stuff like that. Of course, I've got all the custom mods that I've made. This is really cool stuff. So let's take this New Holland SP400F, and because I do crazy stuff with stuff all the time, we're going to copy. We're not going to do, we're going to copy. And let's paste it in here. Now, I need to extract this. So let's go in. We're going to extract. Do not show the files afterwards, because guess what? We've already got it open. And here it is. I want to go into view and let's see. Is it list? It's not list. It's details. Is that what I like? Tiles? Nope. Contents? Definitely not. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, we're... Moving on. <laughs> Details. That's what I'm lo looking for here. You could do this however you like. I like the thing that shows me the type. For some reason, I was thinking this had lines here. Nonetheless, what I need is I need two folders. I need the uh, mod description, and I need the folder of it itself. First up, the SP400F XML document. I want to go in here, and we're going to edit with Notepad++. An update? No, not yet. Maybe one day. As you know, I like for prices to be zero, but I'm not going to do that today. We're not going to change up the price. We're not going to change the power. We're not going to change the working with. All I want to do is go up here, name SP400F modded, so that I'll know this is one that has been modded and has been changed up by me. I believe this is a Giants mod, so they are the creators of this mod. And now I need to go down to fill units something like that something that says that motor is fine we don't need the motor cylinders are cool fill unit right here on the left hand side we're gonna go over we see capacity 6057 liters that ain't gonna cut it at all even a little bit 100,000 liters perfect now because this is gonna get pretty heavy we're going to have to update that a little bit, too. And we can put this anywhere, but I'm going to put it right here. Capacity. Now, update mass equals, and then a uh, uh, little bunny ears. False. And then more bunny ears. And I always put a space at the end. You don't have to if you don't want to. What that's going to be is it's going to be like it doesn't weigh a bajillion pounds when you put 100,000 liters in there. And that should be the only thing that we need to check. That's good. File, save, awesome. Next, I need the mod description. So we're gonna go get the mod description, and this is in here. So again, we're just gonna change this so that I know this is something that I have modded. Author Giant Software, I'm not gonna change that up any. I uh, just is what it is there. And of course, nothing else needs to be changed out through here. So we're good. We know exactly what's going on. Save and exit. Now, I need to create this whole thing, but a new New Holland folder. So let's select everything. We're going to right click, and I want to send to compressed file. So now we've got this. We have the SP400F. Now what I want to do is we want to go FS19 underscore SPF or <laughs> SPF, SPF400, SP400F modded there you go 
That's exactly what I wanted. And let's put New Holland at the front just so we know what's going on with this. New Holland. What do you guys think? Is that good with y'all? It's good with me too. So this, I'm going to copy. We're going to bring it here. We're going to paste that in. Now we've got that. Let's bring it over to our mod folder. Now it's copied in there. We're going to bring this to custom mods. Copy it in there. Back out. This is our version here. Let's see what our new version looks like. Double check that it's in, and there it is, the New Holland SP400F modded. Perfect, let's jump in game. And we're back. Jump in, click upon it, crop protection. I didn't change anything, so it should be right beside it. There it is, same, pre ah, oh, I forgot to change how fast it goes. Man, now that we're back in, let's go back over here to the XML document and open this up now. We need to find a few things. So we can see up here, max speed 50. So that's what we're gonna stick with. We're gonna put 50 down. Power is fine there. Here we go, base, speed limit. This is working, that's 12. That's not gonna be any good. If the main thing itself could go 50, well, this is going to go 50 as well. That is it. Boom, save, pa pow. Bring it right back out of here and do the exact same thing. We've got it. That's it. That's the only change we needed to do. Now, did I mess it up again? I hope not. Let's double check and see. 31, 31, 36, 100,000. Yep, that is 100% the one that I wanted. Purchase, yes please, thank you very much. Let's get this sent back over. Reset. Oh man. That is what I wanted right there. Now, I don't believe we could change Nope, you can't change this to a all-wheel steer. So this is just steers the way it steers, and that is it, and we gotta be cool with that. Let's fill this thing up with some fertilizer, and let's get around. Ah, crops haven't grown yet. That could be a problem. Well, that fixed that, didn't it? I would say so, and it is time. We're gonna go through. We're gonna get a little bit of fertilizing done before tomorrow. This thing is interesting. This is a lot not as wide as I thought it was going to be. Still can see out of it better than any other sprayer in the game, I think. At least some of the ones that I've been familiar with. I think it'd be a lot of fun to go back to a Stancy Lapacho and do something. Maybe one or two harvests down there. Maybe a cotton harvest and, and definitely some sugar cane stuff. I don't know, have a little bit of fun down there. I've always loved a Stancy Lapacho, but a lot of people don't. And, uh, and I don't know why, because I love it. And if I love it, therefore everybody else loves it. Nah, I don't think that that logic doesn't play out too well, does it? Now, I'm thinking back. I don't think that this needs another fertilizer. Ah, yeah. Yes, it does. So we are going to hit it. As soon as I figure out what's going on. Well, if you don't fill it up, it can't, <laughs> nothing happens, huh? Can we go? Let's go. All right, so fertilizer is going down. We're gonna take that off so I can see kind of where we've been and what we're doing. Fertilizer's going down. That makes me very, very happy. And that is good. Oh man, I'm so excited about this field right here. The work and the time that was put into this field was just so outstanding and so incredibly crazy that I, I just can't wait to get in here with a combine and harvest the darn place. Is this working? Yeah, we're working just fine. And so I'm so ready and so excited to put that in here, just have some fun with it, and enjoy ourselves in the middle of the woods, in the secret field in the woods. But until then, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed if you guys are new to the channel. I had mentioned in a post on the community page a little while ago that I would not, uh, we would not, of course, have any new mod videos at least for another week or so because giants are still out of the office. That means there is no testing and no new mods, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But however, we will still have some farm sim news. We'll have some stuff going on over the next few days. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. But with all that being said, that is it. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Peace.